Chapter Six: The Long Walk Home. Most of the time, Pinky was more of a talker than Rex, but today Rex chattered the whole way home. She talked about what she hoped she was going to have for dinner that night, and about the dinosaur puzzle her uncle and aunt had sent her, that had over seven hundred pieces, and about a TV commercial she'd seen with a singing dog, and she couldn't figure out how they did it because it really looked as if the dog could sing. She never mentioned anything about lunch or the new kid, Anthony or Miss Hernandez, and she made extra sure she didn't say a word about spelling bees. Pinky wasn't really listening; he just nodded his head and kept his eyes on his feet as they moved slowly along. Rex was his best friend, but today he wished he was walking home alone. He wondered what he would tell his parents. He wondered how he would ever dare go to school again, and then he thought about Amanda, just knowing how his little sister would tease him and tell everybody, made his stomach hurt. Then he heard Rex ask, "So, you want to go with me to the moon?" He knew she was trying to make him laugh, but he didn't even smile. "Let's see," said Rex. "What should we take? All your animals, of course, and all my dinosaurs." And we'll need food. You bring peanut butter. I'll bring ice pops. Do you like ice pops? You know I do. Pinky muttered. Good. Do you think we should take raspberry ice pops or lemon lime ice pops? When Pinky didn't answer, she said, "Maybe we should take both." Don't be stupid," said Pinky. "Ice pops will melt before we get to the moon." Oh yeah. I guess I am stupid. Pinky looked at Rex. No, you're not," he said. "I didn't mean it like that. Maybe I am sometimes," she said. "Yeah, and maybe I'm a baby sometimes. I don't think you are. And you know what, Pinky? I didn't laugh at you today. I felt bad when that happened." Pinky. Pinky looked at Rex, then quickly turned away. After walking a little way in silence, Rex bent down and picked up two small stones. One was white, the other was gray with spots. They were both almost perfectly round. These are friendship stones, she declared. Hold out your hand. Pinky held out his hand, and Rex placed the white stone in it. Okay, repeat after me. As long as I keep this stone, as long as I keep this stone, said Pinky, I will never think you're stupid. I will never think you're stupid, and I will never laugh at you, even if all the other kids are laughing. Pinky closed his hand tightly over the white stone. I will never laugh at you, even if the other kids laugh. He said, "Because you're my friend," Rex said. "Because you're my friend," said Pinky. "Hey, Pinky, why are you wearing your gym pants?" Pinky and Rex looked up to see Pinky's little sister Amanda running toward them. Before Pinky could think of anything to say, Rex answered for him, "Because," she said, "Pinky is the champion speller of the whole second grade." And Miss Hernandez said, "Only the champion speller gets to wear his gym pants for the whole day." Wow," said Amanda. "Race you." Pinky and Rex and Amanda ran the rest of the way home. For the first time ever, Pinky and Rex let Amanda win.